All right, welcome back. We are on level nine of lesson nine. This is an assessment level, so I can read the directions, uh, maybe point out some tips and tricks, and then we'll read through the rubric. But after that, you're on your own because it would not be a very good assessment if I did it for you. All right, so it says custom profile. Isaac has started to create an app that lets you set a custom profile to change things like the background color or font size of your app. The user can enter their settings in the top half of the app and press the preview button and then the bottom half of the app updates with their changes. The app has already been started, but needs help updating the design elements and code. So do this. In design mode, update the drop-down menu so it includes at least four different colors. Update the slider so it has a minimum value of 12 and a maximum value of 30. In code mode, number one, get the value from the text input drop-down and slider and store in three variables. You can use get text and get property to get the value from each screen input. Update the text and properties of the preview label element. You can use set text and set property blocks to update the preview element. Run your code, enter your name and set your own theme, and then see if the app updates. So remember, we do have the comments here that tells you where to put what. Remember to get to design mode, you got to click up here. So this is our design mode. That's going to be the first part. And then code mode over here is gonna be the second part. And then let's go look at the rubric. The rubric says uh, no evidence. So the app does not get input from any of the elements on the screen. So if this does not change, then we're at a zero. But you, can, you, you are gonna do better than that. So we're not even gonna look at that. Uh, limited evidence. There are errors when trying to get values from the text input, drop down or slider, or the app is incomplete and does not get all of the input elements. So that would give you a limited evidence. All right, let's close that because we're going to do better. Convincing evidence. The code gets the user input and uses it to update the app, but the design elements may not be correctly customized according to the app description. All right, so you're almost there, but not quite. So we're going to look at what will get you all the way to the 100, the A+. So extensive evidence. Each design element has been correctly customized according to the app description, and the code gets the user input and uses it to update the app. So if this all is in place, then you get your 100, all right? So with that, I will let you get started. Good luck. Um, remember, if you run into any troubles, uh, make sure you read through the directions, make sure you're opening the black triangles, uh, make sure you know which one's the design tab, which one's the code tab. And as always, if you want to go back and look at examples from previous levels, you are more than welcome to do that, all right? Um, you can go back just like I did in the last level and double check something. Um, you are not an island, so good luck. Uh, can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, here we go.